It is based on our gavel launcher, but it's got a volume chamber in the back and it's got a seven inch barrel and it gets about almost 60 joules. Optional is this Walther um, Viridian light and it's about 500 lumens and it, the profile starts in front and it blends back nicely into the handguard. Also optional is this uh, Viridian green dot with a riser. We supply the riser and this is from Viridian. Uh, the RFX 11, it's super small, uh, but still gives a good sight picture. Okay, so we got the uh, Tipman True Feed magazines here. We've got a 12 round and, sorry, a 12 round and a seven round. I think two of the seven rounds would be better because it's just a really small, super small package. Uh, and they're both strong magazines. We've got a, a Magpul hand stop right here at the front. That's so you can you grab the launcher here and your your hand doesn't slip off the front. That way you won't shoot yourself in the finger. The trigger here is A2 tool steel. Oh yeah, let's show you that. That's a really positive. It's a super positive engagement there. You have a inline ASA that you spin it, just spin it like that to turn it on and off. It's a really uh, well tested system, and this one works great. Going down the line here, uh, we have an 800 psi regulator. We have one of our 9 ci tanks here. There's the. ASA, here's the regulator, here's the 9CI tank. These are super small um, and we have a buttstock here that's 3D printed nylon. Uh, this is a Magpul K2XL AR-15 grip right there. It wants to be more straight up and down like an SBR. This is the new tier launcher. 